All right, looks like we're on. Uh, yeah. Hello, everybody. It's Gravity. <laughs> so, <clears throat> guess everyone, guess some, some leakers were right. We did get a Nintendo Direct without an announcement, just like January 18. Uh, so, we got another Nintendo Direct Mini, but it's, <laughs> it's almost like a full Direct because it's like 30 minutes long. Uh, it's probably a Mini Direct Mini because of all the stuff going on, but... They still want it to happen, so let's go watch it. I honestly don't have any preparations, like a bingo card or anything, so I'm just here to go with the flow. It's 30 minutes long, so let's let's go in for the ride. Please, due to COVID-19 release dates and other information or presenter are subject to change. Okay. Yeah, just telling you, no. COVID-19, stop killing us. I like the, I like the little, uh, the little intro they got here. Alright, what's first? Long ago. Xenoblade. Two great <laughs> titans came into existence. The Bionis and the Maconis. The titans were locked in Sorry if I look a mess, I literally just woke up. <laughs> Until at last... Only their lifeless corpses remained. Mm-hmm. Huh? In the sky! This can't be! No way. It's a... Mechon! Commence the assault on Bionis. The Manado. It's the only sword that's effective against the Mechon armor. If we could just unlock the Monado's power. It's my turn! Shulk! No! It'll kill you! Shulk! There was something strange. It was as if I could see into the future. I know you won't believe this, but Shulk can see the future. I didn't know you could do that. It's not me. It's the power of the Monado. And so it begins. The, the power of the Monado. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I've never played the I've never played the original Xenoblade, so I'm just listening in. I see. It isn't set. So I can use this power to change the future. And that's exactly what I intend to do. Mechon. There's a metal face. <laughs> The people of Bionis will never let you triumph. I will say this, the uh, character faces look way much better. <laughs> so yeah, I was right. It was in May. <laughs> so yeah, I was like, yeah, Xenoblade's probably a May title. <laughs> future Connected? Xenoblade Chronicles Future Connected? What, what, what's this? What? It's like, uh, is this like extra... Yeah, it's like the the remove content that's brought back into the game, I guess. If the capital is on the shoulder, there are people there. I thought you'd want to go. Yeah, it's probably like the additional stuff. The ultimate version of a modern classic, Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition. On Nintendo Switch, the game looks better and plays smoother than ever before. The battle HUD and menu screens are easy to read and easy to use. It's pretty nice. And some of the music has been re-recorded. Now you can fully immerse in the majesty of this <laughs> And a new epilogue, a new story, Future Connected will cap off the main game. So if you've played and loved the original game, you can not only revisit it, but look forward to one Sorry, I guess, like I said, I'm still tired. <laughs> Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition launches May 29th. I was right. <clears throat> now, <coughs> can we get a, a new Kirby game? Kirby 64 Remake, please? We'll pack in a 250-page art book. So basically just like Xenoblade 2, another big old beefy art book. 
everyone, and welcome to Nintendo Direct Mini. We've got news on upcoming Nintendo Switch games, and we're focusing on a selection of them coming out this year. Now, let's roll through some headlines, shall we? All right, headline time. Three of 2K's most beloved uh -oh. are coming soon. 2K. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> Microtransaction land. Oh, 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 oh. Hold up, hold up. That's, uh, that's, uh, uh I don't know, Bio, yep, Bioshock. Bioshock is coming to Switch. What? What the heck is that? <laughs> Borderlands? <laughs> Borderlands is coming to Switch. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Graphics look a little grimy. Well, whatever. I mean, I don't care, but <laughs> still. What's this? Stairs? Mm. And XCOM. Okay. Cool. I mean, I think that was already a confirmed thing, right? Speaking of which, are this, is this when they're going to announce Catherine? <laughs> and other Atlas things? Surprised there's no NBA yet. Yet. <laughs> what kind of music is this? <laughs> 2K's beloved series coming to Nintendo Switch. Bioshock, Borderlands, XCOM. Coming all on, all on May. Okay. Cool. Enemies face off in a new trailer. For the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, the Black Order expansion pass. They still playing the, they they still making stuff for this game? Okay. I mean I respect it. But god they got I see I saw they had Fantastic Four. I dig. Mr. Fantastic, Ding, Flaming Torch, and Miss Invisible. Woohoo. I yeah. Human Torch. Yep, yep. We're not going down without a fight. Miss Invisible. We have a universe to save. And Mr. Fantastic. Richard Reeds. <laughs> you are wasting your time, fools. Doom always prevails. Ugh, I got the infinite <laughs> stones. <laughs> Shadow of Doom. Doom must become a god himself. Oh, that's uh, Victor Von Doom. Dr. Doom. I think that's what it, it's been a while since I watched really Fantastic Four. Game. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait. The last of the what? Race, forced by global winter into an unexplored this, uh, aquatic world. Is this a... In this deep sea exploration uh, okay. game, you collect resources to upgrade your gear, craft items, and dive deeper into the abyss. What is this underwater? Um, what's that one indie game? Um, Steam World Dig. Is this like underwater Steam World Dig? <laughs> that's not challenging enough. Shinsekai's time attack mode, another dive, boasts a perilous maze for you to. It looks interesting, but it doesn't look like my kind of thing. You know, it can get pretty heavy down there, so why not lighten the mood with the jukebox feature? It lets you remix the game's background music by modifying audio filters. The time has come to discover the truth hidden beneath the ocean's surface. When Shinsekai Into the Depths launches on Nintendo Switch today. Today? Oh my gosh! It's launching today! Oh. Nani? Deserted island Nani? Life, thanks to this free update. Uh, it's probably like a new holiday update or something. Enjoy I don't know. Island life in the Animal Crossing New Horizons game? Well, whether you're already living it up on Stop the island, time traveling. you're still planning your departure. There's an event coming up, and we're happy to spill the beans. Er, crack the eggs? Yeah, it's uh, Easter. See, after downloading the free update we made available at launch, one zipper T Bunny will visit your island in celebration of Bunny Day in early April. Scoopity kippity uppity ho! What? Why are they in the water? You can craft these special limited time items from the egg series. The Bunny Day event only comes once a year, 
this time from April 1st to April 12th, so be sure to participate. Woohoo! And guess what? There's another free update coming later in April. Is it for April Fool's Day? Some newly added features, including the Earth Day event. Oh, Earth course, Day. We'll continue to bring you the latest on updates and more via the official Animal Crossing Twitter account. And other channels. Come look. So, stay tuned. Give me your bells, man. We hope you enjoy the updates and everything else about your life on the deserted island. I'm loving it. It's fun. Hey, look. What? Someone's what this? Me. What this? Oh, this is your dad's company? Apparently what? they offer a wide range of services. Oh, it's like one of those uh, multiplayer games where you all gotta move stuff. You'll deliver items. Mop the floor. And maintain a comfortable work environment. I like the I like the star style. They're all just like stick people. They are trusting you with crane operation and other tough tasks. Katamari? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh -oh. Broke it. That you idiot. Won't do. Hmm. Think you can take care of that? Whether you conduct yourself in a professional manner or opt for more creative solutions, <laughs> you know what you need to do okay. to get the job done. I'm guessing that dollar sign amount means like how much damage you did to the company. <laughs> Hopefully you're ready to join the team and be put to work immediately. Bruh. Because good job launches today. <laughs> good job. <laughs> nah, he would have been fired day one. <laughs> Catherine, full body well, <laughs> Danny, <laughs> Danny, <laughs> Danny, full body, full body. It came out. <laughs> Vincent finds himself pulled into the allure of a new <laughs> You said I'll believe it when I see it. You're looking at it now. Catherine with a C and Rin. Little does he know, temptation might lead to his own demise. In this cult classic, your choices will affect how their relationships unfold, and it only gets weirder. Deservedly, not only is Vincent riddled with guilt during the day, he's also not sleeping so soundly. Every night, his nightmares consist of a crumbling tower of puzzle blocks that he must climb in order to survive and see another day. Find out if love is over for our troubled bachelor in this dark, intense, and intoxicating story when Catherine full body releases <laughs> with the same <laughs> with the same logo. <laughs> Danny. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> for the Ring Fit Adventure game will pump up its audio. What? We making a we making a rhythm game now? No! Can we have Rhythm Heaven, but with actual Nintendo music as remixes, please? Speaking of, there are 17 music tracks in the Rhythm game. We're talking music from Super Mario Odyssey, Splatoon 2, and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Can't this be what Rhythm Heaven has, please? You're concerning me, Nintendo. Rhythm Heaven? No. I feel my power returning. He's joining Smash. <laughs> Your companion Ring will now have a female voice option. Nicely done. Oh. And you'll also be able to change languages. Feel free to change it up in the settings whenever you Okay, never mind. We're also adding in a new jogging option in both the custom and quick play modes. When you're not in a battling mood, you can simply run through a variety of fields. This free update for the Ring Fit Adventure game will be available today. Shoot, everything's available now. Why not? Better open the gates. One treasured TRPG approaches. What's this? What Since 1990, the King's, King's Bounty series has been influencing the evolution of Western RPGs. And now it's back with a fresh look and a new Speaking approach. of which, where's Elder Scrolls Blades? That uh, that free to play game, well, it's a mobile game. They said it was supposed to come out in fall of last year. It never happened. Then they delayed it to tw early 2020 and it is still early 2020. Uh, Bethesda, where's that? Um, I know a lot of people don't care about mobile games like that, but I was really interested in getting it for Switch, so I was like, where is it? We're like only 10 minutes in, right? 14 minutes in, so we're halfway done. Shoot. Still don't know about any Nintendo games. 
Super Smash Brothers Ultimate news approaches. Oh, hold on. No, don't do this to me. <laughs> in Wave Six of the paid Super Smash Brothers Ultimate DLC will be. Don't. Crash Bandicoot. Spring Man. Spring. Yo, yo, yo. Yes, yes. Usual thanks to those extendable arms. So we'll extend our development time too. Please stay tuned for just a bit longer. The next spider will be announced and released this June. <laughs> yes! They didn't forget about arms! <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> I'm about to say, they they make a new arms content? Y'all about to make me go nuts! <laughs> I'm so happy right now. Oh, yes. For a limited time, you can try out the full game for free. Now, let's get stretchy. Wait. Arms 2? Arms good? Ar Arms 2? All right. Then how about we take a nice long look at Bravely Default 2? Oh. Y'all about to make me go nuts. <laughs> but I, I still dig Bravely. I still dig Bravely 2. I can't believe I survived. But I assume this isn't the same story as the original because, like, the main character with Tiz, Anyes, and all that. Looks like this is a new cast. Well, it gives me time to breathe. <laughs> Fire, water, wind, earth, nature's master. I really love this art style. It's like, well, it's actually still like the how the original 3DS layout was, but it's in HD. So yay! But I'm like, who's the fighter gonna be? At? Like, cause Spring Man's an assist trophy, Ribbon Girl's a, a you know, there, and, but like, I, that's the thing, who is it gonna be? That's, that's what, that's my thing. Who is it gonna be? If it's Spring Man, does that, that means that assist trophies can be in Smash, so Waluigi has a chance, right? But if not, it would probably end up being, I feel like either Min, like Min Min maybe because of her popularity and the fact that she, she is the champion of the Party Crash tournament, um, or it could be Max Brass, or the way that they've been saying it, maybe it might be like a bunch of characters at once, kind of like a Bowser Jr. situation, because... They're all basically the same, but then again, they have different abilities to themselves. So that could be another problem. We'll find out in June. But yo, Sakurai, I love you. Oh, oh, I'm still, I'm so crazy. I'm still, I still can't. Because Those who have gotten hold if you know anything arms, about me, no Arms was my favorite game of 2017. I'm sorry about Bravely Default 2. I'll have to look at this later, but I'm too hyped. Uh, <clears throat> I was one of the biggest fans of Arms when a lot of people were just trashing on it, saying, "Oh, it's a dead game because it's not 100% popular." I'm like, "Boy, it's a new IP. Of course, it's not going to be instantly popular. It's a fighting game too, and fighting games don't really sell all that well. It's not a, it's not a Smash Brothers." So, <laughs> I stuck with the game. I love the game. I still play the game. It's really fun. You guys should really give it a, give it a chance with that, uh, when they're having the game available for free for a limited time. You should definitely give that game a try. It's amazing. It's a very fun fighting game. Um, it's... <laughs> all the characters are really fun to play as. Uh, my personal favorite's Master Mummy. Because I like big boy- I like the, like the big boy characters. Strategically hold back or take multiple yep. actions in one turn to make the right choice. Yep, the brave and the default system. And at I love that fighting that battle system in the original. It was honestly really good for it was like a really good like idea for an RPG. I don't think ever I think that's the first time like an RPG has done something like that, which is why they call it bravely default. Default, you're just sitting there letting your stuff charge up. Bravely Brave you're using multiple things in one turn. I like it. Now for a little announcement. It's coming out. Oh. 
today. Yo! <laughs> a demo. We'll conduct a survey to gather feedback and incorporate what we can as we finally Oh, they're doing another it's another Octopath situation. Then again, the Bravely series was developed by the Octopath developers. So, understandable. Still 2020. So yeah, I'll download that I'll download that demo and I'll see what I think. Hope you're having fun. Let's keep this good news train a moving. <coughs> Kirby 64 remake. Tabletop classics <coughs> from around the world will come together on Nintendo Switch. Dang it. <laughs> That's not Kirby 64. Oh look, it's Othello. <laughs> Batgammon? Pool? Hanafuda? <laughs> What's going on here? Clubhouse games. Oh. Okay. Presenting every single game. <coughs> Included in this massive new collection of fun from around the globe. Bruh. Moncala? Moncala? Did you just say Hanafuda? I thought it was Hanafuda. President. Dominoes. Speed. Heron House. You guys are a Hanafuda company. You should know how to pronounce it. <laughs> they can't legally say connect four, so they say four in a row. <laughs> Golf. Darts. Golf. Nine men's Morris. Air hockey. What? War. Carom, Chinese checkers, yacht dice, takoyaki, billiards, takoyaki, Hex, spider solitaire, gomoku, spider solitaire. <laughs> we talking that uh, <laughs> we talking that uh, <laughs> bro, calm down. Why is there so many games? Klondike solitaire, toy tennis, toy soccer, toy curling, toy boxing, toy baseball, battle tanks, calm. team tanks, sliding puzzle. You don't have to say all of them. Ball puzzle. Phew. That really is 51 games. Why and though? There are many ways to play them. Some games are multiplayer, including options for up to four people playing via local wireless, and in some cases, online play is supported too. I'm about to say so no online. Games, <laughs> match up with other players and just play. Play to your heart's content against rivals the world over. <laughs> games, Catch me in Moncala, man. On Nintendo Switch, June 5th. I probably wouldn't buy it if it's. A, I probably won't buy it if it's a $60 game. But it's like it's an is it a Nintendo develop? Oh, it's a Ninjala. <laughs> Bro, was that a was that a, <laughs> was that a um was that an Eminem reference? <laughs> yeah, I've been looking at this game recently from like the past E3s. It looks very interesting. Gum ninjutsu. I know some people have been interested in this game, but it's been really uh, delayed a lot. So I guess they're finally ready to release it. <clears throat> Disguise yourself. What? So people are saying this is like Ninja Splatoon or something. Based on like the style of the game. From heavy hitting hammers to fast and flashy katanas to tactical tricked out yo-yos. Is this like a battle royale or something? Domination and defeat. <laughs> this game looks really cool, honestly. And it looks like there's a lot of customization options. battles that prove ninjas are most clever when they work together. Will your efforts end in gummy disaster? Or prove you're the master? When Ninjala sneaks up on Nintendo Switch, May 26th... I mean, look at, look, look at the, look at the eyes. Wait, it's a free to... Yeah, it's a free to play game, guy guy. It's about, it's, it's almost a battle royale. Enter Luke Skywalker's Jedi oh look, to learn the way another Star Wars game. At least it doesn't have microtransactions. Star Wars story and battle online with up to 16 players. Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy launches on Nintendo Switch today. Cool. And get ready to strap in because Star Wars Episode One Racer is coming soon. What? In this remade <laughs> dragon riding classic, you'll pants a dragoon. Yeah, that got dances. delayed, didn't it? Battling giant creatures and lethal battle. I mean, I don't care because I don't. I'm not interested. But and lock on targeting. It's your destiny to reach the tower or die trying. When Panzer Dragoon remake launches first on Nintendo Switch as a timed console exclusive today. Timed. Kirby 64 remake. There's a lot more coming to Nintendo Switch. Trails of Mana. Okay, yeah, we knew that. There's a demo available, I believe. user what why say drop something really big like and they think like oh it's nothing oh elder scrolls blaze got delayed to spring okay <laughs> okay i see how it is 
Warhammer 40,000. Okay. I actually got this game for free from somebody from uh, on Steam, and I actually haven't played it yet. <laughs> Vigor. Call of Duty. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Burnout Paradise. Another EA game. EA is actually putting games on the Switch? Nani? Saints Row 4 re-elected. I'll stick with my Saints Row 3. <laughs> Listen to Heroes. Another de demo available. A lot of things available now. Uh, Mr. Driller Drill Land. <laughs> what? This, do we, did they say it was Bandai Namco? Looks like it. Minecraft Dungeons. <laughs> Spring 2020. <coughs> Well, it's been fun. we got one game left. Nintendo Direct Mini isn't over yet. This is our last news of the day. Nintendo Kart! Ah! Yes, please. Give us more information, please. Thank you very much. Ooh! The sprawling island in the sea, the Isle of Armor. And the frozen snowscape known as the Crown Tundra. Please give me more. I'm listening. <laughs> a new adventure to embark on with new people to meet along the way. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Today we uh, have uh, some Clara. Clara can poison me any day. <laughs> on the Isle of Armor lies a dojo for Pokemon battles. I the trainers gather to master this mustard. And if you train at this dojo, you will receive the legendary Pokemon Cub Fu. From the master, <laughs> he looks so angry. Through your training with Kung Fu, received permission to challenge the towers of two fists. Okay, that I had a I had a, a theory that those two towers had something. The tower of darkness or the tower, tower of waters. Okay, so depending on where you, okay, so depending on where you train, your Urshifu will evolve into Rapid Strike or Single Strike. I will be doing Rapid Strike. The Tower of Darkness. Is that Darkest Hilarious? Single Strike Style. But if you choose the Tower of Waters, it will learn Rapid Strike Style. Dark I'm doing Rapid Strike. Water. The choice is yours and yours alone. Yeah, I'm doing Rapid Strike. Beyond that, the evolved form of your partner Pokemon, be it Rillaboom, Cinderace, or Intellion, will gain a Gigantamax form as a reward for your adventure on the Isle of Armor. So, let's take a look at each Pokemon's Gigantamax form moves. Gun and controlling its roots. It's G Max drum solo. Kicking a giant ball of fire to deliver a powerful shot. It's G Max fireball and blasting the opponent with water. G Max snipe. And 30 feet up. It's G Max hydro snipe. These moves are stronger than Dynamax moves, and when used, the opponent's abilities have no effect when they are attacking. Okay, ignore his opponent's abilities. So, no storm drain for you. Outfit items and hairstyles. There will also be new league card backgrounds, effects, and frames. Ooh. Now you'll have even more custom I think it would be cool if they let us like have like at least one Pokemon with us in our league cards. That would be really cool. Sword expansion pass and Pokemon Shield expansion pass part 1, the Isle of Armor. By the end of June. By the end of June. Why is Slowpoke running so fast? Who purchased the expansion pass? We've prepared this early purchase bonus you can receive by August 31st. Starting today, during max raid battles in the wild area, you'll have a higher chance of encountering the Gigantamax forms of Caparaja and Duraludon in Pokemon Sword, and Garbodor and Charizard in Pokemon Shield. Battle with other trainers to take on this challenge together. Woohoo! Wait, they're exclusive. I thought they weren't. That's all for today's <clears throat> Nintendo Direct Mini. Thanks for watching. All right. Um, YouTube, YouTube. I think YouTube's broken. It's stuck. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> Alright, bro, ARMS is in Smash now as a playable character, whoo-hoo!
We got some Isle of Armor news. I'm sure there's a there's also a Pokemon trailer available. I'm gonna watch that on my own time. But uh we got some Bravely Default two demo, cool, with another survey kind of thing. I like that. Uh, I like it when companies like to do a little survey. It's like, hey, we want your feedback. But um, <laughs> obviously, I was more hype about the arms stuff. Uh, um, arms two at E three, maybe. I'm telling you guys, it might happen. I I've been speculating for year for the past year that we're probably gonna get arms two, especially with the fact that they delayed the uh, the arms graphic novel, which was gonna have a lot of stories like like lore and story details, and I feel like they're holding back on that until they release ARMS 2, where they're actually going to have the lore and story revealed there and just have it into, like, a graphic novel form. <laughs> so, I don't know, I'm just conspiracy theory in here. <laughs> so, yeah. ARMS 2, please? Because <laughs> either the, uh, the Mario Kart team, which develops ARMS, they're either making a new Mario Kart or they're making a new ARMS. I do, that's just how I see it. <laughs> Um, and I feel like a new ARMS would be better because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is already the top selling game. And they don't really need to make another Mario Kart right now. Unless it's a Nintendo Kart, they don't need to make another Mario Kart. <laughs> but they didn't announce a lot of Nintendo games, which is interesting. But then again, it's a Nintendo Direct Mini, so it's whatever. Uh, but still, I really enjoyed this. It was really fun. There's a lot of games that were rumored. Catherine Full Body. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, thank you guys for watching. This has been Gravity, and I hope to see you guys in a future video of sorts, whether it be Animal Crossing, Reactions, or any other thing. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Do all that good stuff. See ya!